ready for this. Crash through! Got you, got you! Everyone attack! Got you! Don't you! Crash through! Throw them! Got you! No escape! Here's release! You wronged me! Here's your justice! Fighting order! Are there more? Crash through! What are you? Got you! The power! I said! Got you! Put it away! Let her! Crash through! Take that! The power! Let her! You do too close! Take that! The power! Take that! The power! Hurricane! No shit! Let her! Wait! 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 No shit! I'll hurt you! Crash through! Yes! Get it! Got it! Got it! Max! Crash through! You got this one! Got you! Did I get it? The power! Let her! Killing Flash! When I'm this close, I won't miss! Form Zero! Thunder! One down! Crash through! Got you! Take that! Devour! Oh, 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 yes. Crash through! Got you! Crash through! Got you! Crash through! Crash through! Crash through! No mercy! Wounds that won't heal! Cards in the flesh! Lethal pay! Next! Form Three! Are you hurt? Can you stand? Yeah. Hey, Laffy said, what's the Reaper's Curse Mogilu was talking about? Supposedly, Aizen's presence has the power to bring misfortune to the people around him. Is that some sort of special Moloch power or something? It's worse than mere misfortune. At Vortigern, there was a sudden mass outbreak of demon blight, and many of his fellow crew died on his watch. I find that a little hard to believe, honestly. The Reaper's Curse is all too real! It was the Reaper's curse that tore me from you and got me captured by Miss Mogilu! Oh, is... is that so? I missed you so much! The hazy, halcyon days when I would blow on your cheeks to make your tears dry up! Hey, that's not... It must be destiny that we've been reunited! How I wish I could return to your side once more! Do what you want, I don't care. Really? I won't stop you. Maybe she wants a Moloch who freely divulges a young girl's secrets. I'm fine, thank you very much. I've already got Laffy set to look after as it is. Aw, no fair! Is he the one who blows on your tears now when you cry? He most certainly does not. And as of right now, you're a stranger to me. Yeah! <laughs> What? Just so we're clear, Laffy Set will do no blowing on any cheeks. Of course not! Uh, I mean, not that it ever happened in the first place anyway. Uh, just forget it! <sighs> Yet another victim of the Reaper's curse! <sighs> Eleanor, are you feeling alright? Yes, for now at least. I'm glad for that. But please remember, the Reaper's curse is no joke. Is Aizen's curse even real? I'm having trouble believing in it. You never know. Talk like that might give you a stomach ache, or a blister, or a bug might fly into your mouth. A bug? Miss Mogilu, please stop making up things just to scare Madame Eleanor. Like when you said that four Navy warships tried to detain the Von Eltia and disappeared without a trace. Or that Aizen made a stopover on an island and the men there caught demon blight. Or that a man bumped into his shoulder and started laughing and died from suffocation? Please stop. That's even more frightening. That's a pack of lies. It was seven warships. Everyone on the island, not just men, caught demon blight. And the guy who bumped into me died from hiccups. <laughs> Hold me. But as far as the Corsair's scourge goes, you don't need to worry. Just drink the Solitoma juice and you'll be fine. Assuming they're in bloom. Yeah, there is that. I have a bad feeling about this. I challenge you! Crash through! Okay, no okay. Crash through! Crash through! Crash through! Crash through! 
See this? You won't get away. I'll allow it, Turtle! See you again! The power! Got you, got you! No one's getting hurt! Hurt me! 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 This is a dual-layered barrier. It's the Abbey's new invention. So it's two barriers working in tandem, then. That sure sounds like a hell of a lot of trouble just to stop people from coming in. It really does. <sighs> Tails again, huh? That Reaper's curse of yours is consistent, if nothing else. The curse even affects coin flips? Seems that way. A Moloch's powers affect physical objects and can, at times, even synchronize with their wavelengths. And in your case, it's that coin? Yeah. That's why it always comes up tails. You must forgive my skepticism. Whether you choose to believe it or not is really up to you. It might be worth noting that coin is also Aizen's vessel. So is that wavelength business the reason why Lafayette always has that compass around him? That's part of it. But in another sense, it's a kind of proof of his manhood. Proof of his... manhood? Must polish you, so you don't rust. <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. For a Praetor, you really don't know that much about the world, do you? Ugh. The Reaper's Curse. The Abbey needs to know about this. I'll have to investigate further. A coin that always comes up tails. Can a Moloch's influence extend so far? I see you're a woman of deep skepticism. I know it's hard to believe, but Aizen's coin really does only come up tails. Wait a minute. Are you using some sort of trick on it, Mogilu? Oh, your gaze falls on me then? Well, I am a woman of deep skepticism. And one who holds grudges too, apparently. But no, I don't have anything to do with it. In fact, I tried a little spell to make it come up heads, and it wouldn't take hold. The coin's not gimmicked. There's no trick. See for yourself, if you like. <gasps> this is... the Demon Lord Douse! Good eye. It's from Carl... It's from Carlin! I've never seen an authentic specimen! It's incredibly ancient, and yet it looks freshly minted. <laughs> There's a reason for that. Gold is normally soft, but they found a way to heart. I know! They cover the surface of a softer metal with a heat reactor shaped memory alloy! That's what makes it hard to scratch. Uh, right. It's a technique no one alive can duplicate, and it makes any trickery impossible. I might just have to believe in this curse of yours after all. I thought you said they had made the surface itself harder, not covered it with something else. I think you're mistaken. No, I swear you said... Let's just leave it at that. Okay. Shape memory alloy. Hmm. That's how they did it. I can fight too! Crash through! Got you! 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 No mercy! Wounds that won't heal! Hard to deflect! Make them pay! Crash through! Take that! Your power! No attack! Put it right here! No attack! Crash through! Ugly. The flower itself is purple with leaves and stem of maroon. 
An ugly flower. All right, I'll keep an eye out. By the way, do you know what Salatoma means in the language of flowers? Was it deceitful coexistence? What's with that? Even its symbolism is awful. Deceitful coexistence. <laughs> the perfect flower for us. <sighs> What's wrong, Luffy said? Magilu is right, isn't she? Could be. Eleanor is from the Abbey. I'm not sure that someone like that would ever genuinely want to make friends with us. That's what I thought. But it's not all quarrels between us. There's commonalities, I guess you could call it. We share common ground. Deceitful coexistence doesn't trouble me at all. I'll always be here for you, Madam Eleanor. You and I shared an eternal vow that binds us together. All I did was make a pact to tether you. I'd appreciate it if you didn't talk about it in a way that could create the wrong impression. <laughs> Madam Eleanor, you're so cold. Dry your eyes, Bianfu. You still have me, don't you? Oh, Miss Mogilu, you're the only one for me, honest! Good, good. Now think hard on my kindness and do as you're told. Yes, ma'am! I'll just have to hang in there until I find a new love. Lafisat, think about deceitful coexistence this way. Demon, exorcist, Moloch, pirate, witch. We're never going to be a single cohesive unit. But each of us understands where the others are coming from in a way that's very real. So it's not really a deception? Yeah, not really. I think selfish coexistence might make the better fit. <laughs> Maybe so. <sighs> right now, let's finish Press this! Through. 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 You're not hurt, are you? No. You there! What do you think you're doing here? We could ask the same of you. Is something going on back there? They didn't look like they were demon hunting. Ah! Are you making that move? No, it just did it by itself. He's in sync with his compass, just like Aizen and his coin. Aizen, you're an Earth Moloch, right? Do you sense anything around here? No, I don't. It seems Lafayette's senses are sharper than mine. It stopped, but something still feels wrong. Like what? It kind of feels like when we got sealed inside that Earth Pulse. So a force similar to Inominat's power? I'm starting to think this may be no ordinary demon we're dealing with here. I'm ready, Chris! Take that! So foul! It was a close one, but I am the victor. It looks like a dead end up ahead. Luffy said, do you feel anything here? No, not right now. Flowers. Yep, Salatoma. Is the demon the real reason the Abbey's closed off the forest? Worry about it later. It's flower picking time. Agreed. What do you think, kiddo? 
I told you these things were hard on the eyes. I mean, who puts those colors together? Yeah, they're really nasty looking. But if they help the others, that's good enough for me. <gasps> what was that? that? This must be the demon we were warned about. Are you alright? I'm okay. So much for this demon being hard to find. Is this the Reaper's curse yet again? We're just getting started. Another barrier! That barrier... Even my Praetor hearts can't break that. What's going on here? Why go to such lengths to keep this demon alive? Either way, I don't think we're hauling how many flowers unless we beat up Mr. Bugglesworth here. Right! Everyone, let's do this! Collecting is a sweatier hobby than I thought. Look! Can we keep him? No. Hand it over. I'll dispose of it. The Abbey had some reason for protecting it. Maybe we should keep it alive for observation. <sighs> you want it, you feed it. Take care of him. Anyway, now that we've got these flowers, Eleanor and my crew ought to be out of danger. Hey! Forgetting somebody? It looks like we've closed the door on this little episode. That insect demon was a bit of a surprise, but I still think this curse business is overblown. <sighs> I can count on one hand how many have survived more than three years at my side. If you're not careful, you might wind up as corpse number 50. 50? That's how many comrades I've lost. Oh, I... I'm sorry. Just saying, don't let your guard down. Right. Now that we've got what we need, we should get back to the ship. Been around a long time, but I've never seen anything like it. It must be a new species. Incredible. A new species is usually named after the person who discovered it. The Lafayette rhinoceros beetle, then? 
Rhinoceros beetle? Whoa, no. That's a stag beetle if I ever saw one. No. Those things may look like pincers, but they're actually horns. A three-horned beetle will cause quite a stir in the bug community. Hey, I know pincers when I see them, and those were some mighty pincers. The Laffy said stag beetle has a better ring to it, right? What part of that sounds better? The whole thing. Stag beetles are the strongest, after all. I can't let that go unchallenged. The rhinoceros is the king of beetledom. Beetledom? More like beetle dumb. Huh? That doesn't help your case at all. Rokuro, Aizen, I, I feel a dangerous storm brewing. The rhino is a one-trick pony with its horn, but a stag can cut its opponents in half. Its weapons can be used in any situation. The stag is a true swordsman. That's petty trickery. The only beetle with the raw muscle to decide its own fate is the rhino. But they only live for a year. The stag can survive through the winter. They live hard and die young. Is the beauty of such a life lost on you? Why is it that boys get so excited when they talk about bugs? Minoceros, stag, or butterfly. It's all no matter to me. They all look like cockroaches. They're, They're totally, totally different. different! So, what will you name it? Um... I think... Rhino Stagros, for now. <laughs> Salatoma flowers smell so sweet. Like raspberries. Let me smell. <laughs> oh, they smell tasty. Do they really taste that bad? They lure you in with their scent. But once that flower hits your tongue, its flavor transforms into something dreadful. Dreadful, dreadful like, like how? how? The petals melt into a liquid thousands of times stronger than mint, and the leaves and stem taste richer than the richest beef tongue. The two flavors clash and fizz on your tongue, and your whole body is racked with choking pain. What? Seriously? That's what Ifrit told me anyway. It's actually true. That's exactly what it's like. You've tasted it before, haven't you? Is there any way around it? You can squeeze it, boil it, mix it with honey, but nothing gets rid of the taste. Trying to mix it or sweeten it makes it even harder for some to swallow. Have you taken yours? No, I'll do it once I'm back on the ship with the pirates. Wait, are you the type that puts off unpleasant tasks? Not at all. I simply cannot be the first to drink it when others are still waiting for us to deliver their doses. You do know that you'll have to drink double the dose after you start displaying the symptoms, right? Are you certain? Quit being so stubborn. It'd be better if you just got it over with. And you've taken your dose? No, I don't need to. Having a tethered Moloch drink it is enough to absorb its effects. But to a Moloch, it tastes... Yes, the cuter you are, the worse it tastes. <laughs> it's good to be an exorcist, eh, Eleanor? Do I have to drink it? Of, of course not. I'll suffer through my own dose of Salatoma. Well, Pooh, how dull. Whew. You think there's any chance that wanted Moloch would launch an attack here? His target's probably Loringen, but stay sharp just in case. He might try to break open the bug cage as a diversion. Wanted Moloch? Loringen? Hmm. First that demon wrecks Helavis, and then Eleanor betrays us? We're never gonna catch a break. Quit whining. Cleaning up messes is our job. Looks like our Abbey buddies are up to something. And the bug cage. That barrier, I assume? If so, it won't be long before they find out we broke in. Then we should make our exit while we can. Hey, how goes it? Zavid! Easy there, bro. I don't got time to spar today. Got a date lined up. 
That artifact you've got belongs to Ifreed. Why do you have it? Just picked it up off the ground somewhere. Don't screw with me, tough guy. I have ways of making you talk. Ha! <laughs> I wonder how much pain gets you to open up. You're the one about to be tested. It's not up to you how this goes. If I want to talk, we'll talk. And if I want to fight, we'll fight. <laughs> what are you... I'd play more, but I don't want to keep old Pointybeard waiting. We'll chat some more later, with our fists. Wait! Aizen! We need to get the flowers to everyone on the ship! You can handle it! But you're... <sighs> Let's head back, Laffy said. All right. That thing Zavid was holding? What do you think that was? From the sound of it, it seemed to belong to Ifrit. I've never seen any object or art quite like it. Maybe it's that relic Ifrit brought back from a continent across the sea. An art from another continent. Do you think Aizen will be alright? That Moloch seemed to know what he was doing. I'd rather we just stayed out of his way, but... First the throne, and now here. What is Zavid after, anyway? He was probably just making up that date business. But still, old pointy beard? Just like Ifreed. When I was talking with Benwick, he said Ifreed had a pointy beard! You don't say. Then I bet Zavid is that wanted Moloch the Abbey's looking for. Yeah, he must be aware they're after him. And then he baited Aizen into following him, using something that belonged to Ifreed. And I'm pretty sure Aizen knew that, but he went after him all the same. Ugh, this can only go well, I'm sure. Is Aizen in trouble? It doesn't matter either way, if his Corsair Scourge goes untreated. For now, let's get back to the ship. We've brought back your Salatomas. Drink up. You've saved us! But where's the first mate? We bumped into some wannabe tough guy Moloch and he just took off after him. What? That must have been Zavid! Why didn't you guys follow him? And leave you all with the Corsair Scourge? Yes! Aizen's the one in danger here! Is it because the Abbey is after Zavid? So you even knew about it! I heard the details from a merchant who deals with the Abbey. Some big-shot exorcist named Melchior has set up a trap for Zavid and Loringen. If Aizen gets caught up in that, he might not make it out alive. So now there's Melchior to worry about. Why is Lord Melchior assuming direct command to capture Zavid? Wait, that's not important. What matters is I can turn Lafayette head over to him and finally return to the Abbey. Melchior is a legate. A powerful enemy. Trap or no? Ugh, you guys are useless! Well, fine. If you're not going to go help him, we will. What makes you think you're capable of being any help? Would you let an ally get slaughtered just because you were scared? What? 
We want to save him. Maybe we'll lose. It still won't stop us. We are the ones who decide our fates. Only us. That's just the creed of Eifried's pirates. Uh, you're a real hothead, you know that? Nobody said anything about not helping Aizen. Huh? You all stay here. Take your medicine like good little boys. And be ready to welcome back your first mate and captain. The captain? Why else would Aizen knowingly barge into a trap, if not to save Eifried? Oh, <laughs> of course! Leave the ship and crew to me. Here. This one's for you. Those pirates haven't a lick of sense in them. They don't let reason dictate who they protect. <sighs> if you say so, demon. Now, about where Aizen's headed. Those exorcists were talking about some place called Loringen. Yes. It's a tower in the northern part of Westgand where the exorcists train. Lines up with what Benwick told us. That must be the place. There must be a lot of exorcists. Hang in there, Aizen. That'll take more than basic exorcists to do him in. We ought to pity any poor exorcists who meet the Reaper. Right! Let's work together and find him! Look! A frog! It's unusual to see one this close to the sea. Hey, I thought of a poem! Day at Port Renied. A frog jumps into the void. The sound of the sea. Mogilu? What was that? Just a little poem that popped into my head. My inspiration came from pondering the terror a frog would feel if it unwittingly leapt into the salty ocean. The... That's... I don't get it at all. I got another one! Skinny little frog, Mogilu is on your side. Do not give up hope. Um... I guess that one is about... rooting for a frog? That's right. I once bet a fortune on a game of chance involving frogs. That was my inspiration for this one. What do you think? Poetic, isn't it? I think you have a gambling problem. So... did this skinny frog win? Nope. I lost my entire bet. I think we can call that poetic justice. Uh, uh, solitoma is as awful as I remember. I'd hoped I'd never have to drink it again. Are you alright, Eleanor? Is this your second experience with the Corsair Scourge? No, I had it for a different reason. In the Abbey, it's tradition for initiates to drink Solitoma as part of their welcoming festivities. Sounds like hazing to me. When everyone shares the same experience, drinking something so shockingly revolting, our bonds are strengthened. It's a good thing. If you say so. I really did believe I'd never have to taste it again. To be blunt, I hate it. You're lucky you think it tastes so terrible. That means you also know what tastes good. Right, Velvet? <sighs> What does that mean? Velvet... can't taste anything aside from blood. What? Is that... because she's a demon? I'm aware of one other flavor. Mogulu, here's your dose of Solitoma. N no! Get back here! N don't Keep that salad away from... <laughs> I see. The sweet taste of another suffering. Why does it seem like everyone around me is completely mad? Yeah! Continuing to fight when you know you'll lose just is insane! Would you... stand around and watch your comrade die just because you're scared? I wouldn't want to, but getting myself killed wouldn't save anyone either. Yes, it would be illogical to fight. Is being illogical really that bad? Well... At the Empyrean's throne, I remember Velvet standing, despite the horrible pain she felt. Rokuro is training with all his heart in order to defeat his brother Shigure. 
And Kurogane used up his own head to forge a powerful blade. None of that is very logical. Yeah, I don't know quite how to put it, but I think it's all amazing. <laughs> Aren't you forgetting someone? Hmm? Uh, Magi Lu is traveling with us, even though she doesn't care. And that... Yes, go on. I don't really understand what that's about. Ah! Uh. <gasps> Miss Mogulu, hang in there! <laughs> <laughs> well, it is amazing in some sense, I suppose. <laughs>